Hey guys, welcome to or welcome back to today's video. I'm going to be doing a quick glam tutorial. So if you guys want to see how I use makeup on an everyday basis, make sure to keep on watching for my tips and techniques. Let me know if you like this video down below and also make sure to hit that thumbs up button for that YouTube algorithm and, and make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you are notified every single time I drop a brand new video. But yeah, don't forget to enter my most recent giveaway. You can check my Instagram for all the details and how to enter and everything like that. I believe it ends on February 14th on Valentine's Day. So you guys still have like 10 more days, I think. So yeah, we're... So usually I would probably go in with something like a, well, NYX Professional Makeup Honey Do Me Up Primer. But since I'm doing something more of like an everyday quick glam, like when you go to work or something or school or something like that, you don't really need to use a primer like that for your whole entire face because you might not put product on your whole entire face like that. So first, I'm just going to go in with the Milk Makeup Hydro Water Stick. And I'm just going to put that under my eyes for depuffing and just also cooling. Um, I usually get bags under my eyes, so this really helps kind of get rid of them. I usually do this in the morning before I go to work. It's really quick. It's obviously it's not going to completely depuff your eye, but it makes some of a difference, which is pretty nice, you know? So you just put this under your eyes like this. Um, some people say like it doesn't feel that cooling, like when you rub it on. And I think it's partly cooling there, but I think most of the cooling effect really starts working after. So after you kind of just like finish rubbing that in and you kind of rub that into your under eyes. And I think once after you do that and you let it kind of, you let it sit there on your under eyes, it cools a lot more. Like it gets really cold, like with the air. I don't know. It's kind of like when you're chewing gum and you drink water, <laughs> but on your under eyes. I feel like if it had mint in the formula, it would be very like, like how do I, like very tightening or something like that, which would be very good. But I mean, for the under eyes, I'm not mad at it. It works out pretty good. Then I'm just gonna go in with my Mario Badescu facial spray. So instead of using the Honey Do Me Up, I would just use this. This is much better of a primer just for every day, especially if you have dry skin, it's really gonna moisturize your face, which is really what most people need every single day if you have oily skin and you do want to mat it down i could recommend something like a elf for professional primer so don't go in with this in your whole face what you just want to do is attack the problem areas so if you feel like you're very oily right here and like on your nose you can do those areas with a little bit of this warm it up in your fingers and really press it into your pores kind of to block out all that oil from coming out even more and kind of soak up what you have i would just recommend the elf Oilless Putty Primer, and it's really cheap too. But yeah, let's go on with the spray. The Marlboro Dusty Facial Spray is really good also just to carry around with you. They have miniature ones. If you get really dry, you could just give your face a quick spritz and really, you know, bring moisture back to the face and everything like that. It smells really amazing. It just has natural rose water smell. A lot of people hate it. It used to be really weird to me at the beginning, but I think I'm so used to it now that it doesn't even phase me anymore that much. But this is honestly a really good product. It's not really expensive, and yeah, I, I use this every single day, honestly. So a lot of the times when I use concealer, and for all the licks I do, I'm using concealer more in a media way you know i'm doing these videos where i have these cameras and i have these lights so it makes everything look a lot different than in person so when i use concealer i tend to use it how it would be used with a lot of lighting and camera but every single day it's not necessarily the best to use it like that every time because sometimes it could look a little crazy so what you want to do for every day is you really want to target the areas so a lot of people tend to put the concealer all across their under eye which you don't really need to do that for every day when people are seeing you. You just want to block out the blue and the darkness of your under eye. So you just really have to put some concealer right here in the corner and then right here towards the end. And then you're going to blend that out and then you'll blend that into the middle because there's not too much darkness in the middle. It's more on either ends of the eye. So we're just going to concentrate the product there. And I'm just going in with the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Magic Concealer. So you see how I place the product in the, in the corner of my eye and at the end. And then I'm just going to take a beauty blender and blend that out. So you see how I'm blending, I'm blending it out right in the corner first to concentrate it there more. And then again on the opposite side. And then once I've done that, then we blend it right in the middle. And a lot of people will tend to think like, you know, um, 
once I've already put this concealer under my eye, I'm gonna have to set it with powder. You don't really have to do that. Again, as you guys can tell from my other videos, I've explained to you guys that you guys don't really need to bake. That's not really necessary. It's completely fine just taking a little bit of pressed powder or even loose powder and just kind of dusting that on and then quickly just taking it off because really you just want something that's going to take the moisture away from the product kind of to set it instead of baking that could sometimes leave a flash or you know a, a shadow behind which you don't really want because you're going for something a lot more natural you know every day and honestly not every concealer is like this concealer but this concealer i would be completely fine just putting it under my eye and leaving like just like this because i i trust this concealer isn't going to get like gross under my eye you know what i mean but I'm just gonna do the rest of my face where I need the concealer real quick. And I tend to do a little in here because I do get bruising on the inner corners of my eyes a little bit. And then I'm just gonna do my problem areas. So I just put concealer again on my under eyes and then I just have a little area right here that I wanted to. And on my top right to my side, love to you guys, the top right corner of my forehead, you can't really tell, but it's a little bit of, I get hyperpigmentation because I'm a little bit more brown. So that's what I just tend to get on my skin. So I put a tiny bit of concealer there and I'm going to take the littlest amount of my foundation, like seriously, the smallest amount. And since my concealer is a little bit lighter for under my eyes, I don't want to lighten that part of my forehead. So with a little bit of concealer for the coverage and then a little bit of foundation to mend the colors and make it look a little bit more like skin, it's going to look completely nice natural so again taking literally the smallest amount of foundation I'm just gonna buff that in right there in the corner and you see how perfect that looks now now it looks completely even instead of like bright how it just looked my under eyes look bright everything looks exactly how I want it to look so and literally I used how many drops of product I mean I know in the comments you guys are gonna be like your skin is perfect like besides that I understand but you know, if you guys have this too, you guys can cover all your problem areas. Like you don't, uh, well, a lot of time the problem is people tend to put concealer somewhere that they want to cover like a zit and they'll start to blend it out. Concealer is very thick for a reason. It is meant to cover up problematic areas. So when you put concealer down, how I did here, you want to concentrate it and concentrate it there because it's meant to be concentrated instead of putting it there and then blending it out. You know what I mean? But again, this is just for every day, like when people see you on the street and stuff. This has quickly became a very long video. <laughs> I said 10 minutes. Next, I'm gonna go into the eyebrows. So I'm just going to take my Morphe X Jeffree Star JS7 brush and I'm just going to spoolie out my eyebrows and then not really fill them in. Um, just kind of maybe if I have problem areas, which I don't really think I do right now. But you know, if you have some areas that you just wanna fill in real quick, this obviously is something that a lot of people do every single day even some there's people who don't do makeup at all but they'll still fill in their eyebrows you know because it's so quick and easy i have to get my eyebrows done but i'm gonna spoolie them out so those have been spoolied out and obviously if you have to fill them in you could always go in with a dip brow pomade or you could even go in with a anastasia beverly hill brow wheels you know bra brow wheels brow wiz and same thing this has a spoolie on one end and a pencil on the other you know so you could draw very specific hairs i like to use the pencil to make freckles that's my favorite thing to do which if you guys want a tutorial on like how to make freckles and stuff let me know down below so next i'm just going to go in with my benefit roller lash mascara this is a mascara i like using every single day i know it's really good you know i know it's really nice it's not too heavy it looks really nice on everybody so just put a little bit of this on Now I'm just gonna take a Morphe Cat Paw Small and I'm just gonna dip into the Anastasia Beverly Hills powder, like I was saying before, and I'm just gonna put that under my eyes. Pressing it in with the brush, like seriously, just a bit. Next, we're just gonna do the eyes. So a lot of people for everyday looks, they just tend to do something very basic, like very, very basic. So what you can do is you could just put, um, usually a nice transition shade in the eyes, pretty nice. Um, sometimes I like to do like a little bit of a Stila shadow and these guys you could just place them on the middle of your lid and it really looks really nice very natural too nothing crazy and I just blend that out with my fingers and it's very very it's like a little shimmer like a, a subtle subtle shimmer it's very nice so that has been done you guys can check that out 
So now I'm just gonna go in with my Jaclyn Cosmetics highlighter. I always like to put highlighter, no matter. I could literally wear nothing but highlighter, cause it just looks really nice. <laughs> and especially if you got, if you know how to do it pretty natural. So I'm just gonna take my Scott Barnes 66 brush. And I'm just gonna take my Jaclyn Cosmetics highlighter palette, and I'm gonna go into the shade Iced. I went in really lightly with that highlighter, you know? <laughs> my my idea very light. <laughs> As my nose is fucking beamy. And yeah, lastly we're just gonna dip into some the gloss from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. It's a nice clear gloss, really nice. Yeah, that's the completed look. Um obviously <laughs> it looks like I'm not really wearing anything. Um hopefully it looks like that. But yeah, very natural, nothing crazy. I just go out and it doesn't even look like I'm wearing anything. But yeah, I I don't know why I'm whispering. <laughs> but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure you guys check out my podcast, Stick of the Podcast. There will be a new episode today. We actually hit uh, one month this week of doing our podcast and we are going to start taking guests as well now on our podcast. And we also hit 100 views on our podcast. It's a lot happening in one month. But there's going to be a brand new episode with our first guest, Jade. So make sure you guys check that out. Think of the podcast. I'll leave the link in the description down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Should I wear this to work? Mm, my job's homophobic. I don't know about that. Hey guys, welcome to a welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a follow up to my Scott Barnes brush set review. So I'm going to be using the whole brush set on my face today to get ready basically. So if you want to find out what I think about these luxury brushes, make sure to keep on watching. Make sure to let me know if you like this video down below and don't forget to hit that thumbs up button for that YouTube algorithm and make sure you hit that subscribe button if you are not already subscribed to my channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you are notified every single time I drop a brand new video. Yeah, so let's get right into it. Okay. Boom. We did that. <laughs> that was hard. So first I'm just going to prime my lids with the MAC Painterly Paint Pot. So today we're going to be going in with the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Jawbreaker Palette, if it could focus only. Never does on the palettes, there you go. And yeah, I know this palette has really good formulas, it has really good mattes, really good shimmers. So I could trust this palette enough to really put the brushes to the set, put the brushes to the test and see what they're capable of. So I'm going to, I've already primed my lids obviously with the MAC Painterly Paint Pot. And I'm going to take my Scott Barnes number 62 brush and yeah, I'm just going to go in. So I'm going to go in with Cherry Wet and concentrate that on the outer end of my lid. And that shade, that shade, that color is blending out perfect, like exactly how I wanted to blend out. I'm going to take a little bit of licorice and deepen it up a little bit more at the end. Now I'm 